Hello all, welcome back to the channel. This is Jerron Studio and this video will be a demonstration on my new product, Chrome Tone. This is a very simple product, it's plug and play, but I do want to explain and note some things. But before I do that, I just want to say I've been gone the past few months and I haven't been able to upload any YouTube videos, but I just want to thank you all for the immense support that I've received in that time. I never thought I'd be in this position with the amount of supporters that I do, so I really appreciate that. And if you want to go ahead and like and subscribe before I begin this demonstration, you're free to do so. Otherwise, we're going to get started on Chrome Tone. So first things first, you're going to want to install all the presets. So this is the layer styles and the gradients. So once you download the zip file, you're going to decompress it and it's going to be this folder right here, Chrome Tones. We're going to open that and we see we have the gradients, the layer styles and the actions. There's also this PDF tutorial on how to install all these but this is a demonstration video anyway, so I might as well include that in the video. So how do we install these things? Most of the time it works to just double click them and it will add that to your library. But otherwise, if you're running a version of Photoshop, which I believe is above CC 2019, you can just go to Windows, whichever preset applies. So in this case, it'd be Gradients, and then to this little bar over here and down to Import Gradients. Same thing with all the other ones, so Layer Styles, you would go to your styles panel, which mine's open over here. So I'm gonna go over here and I can add those by going to import styles. Same as I think for actions, you can open the actions window through the windows panel here. Mine's already open as you can see, and I have Chrome tone installed, but if you're looking to install it, same deal, just go down here and go to, where are you? Load actions. All right, let's begin. Once everything is installed, you will find in your actions panel the beautiful Chrome tone. To get started on this, I would highly recommend you open a 300 dpi document. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll use my standard size, which is 16 by 20. Just make sure the resolution over here is at 300 dpi. Go ahead and create. I'm gonna turn the background to black because that's what the effect looks best in. And also it does that at the end of the action anyway. So black background, we're going to drag in a logo here just to test this effect on. I would recommend that you scale it up pretty big to a decent size relative to the canvas. And then if you need it smaller later on, then you just resize it at that point in time. So let me go to bring this in, let me make it white and then I'll rasterize this. Cool. So now we have our logo and I want the chrome effect applied to it. So as you can see here, we have a boatload of actions and you might be confused on where to start. So let me explain. There's two sizes to this effect. There's the 35 pixels and the 18 pixels. The 35 pixels I would recommend using on a thicker logo or thicker text, which for this example, this logo would require that. But let's say you're using like a thinner piece of text. Let's say it's like Helvetica, I don't know, regular or something or fucking like Garamon. Then you would be using the 18 point. Chrome. And something that I want to mention is these sizes are also relative to how big the logo or text is on your canvas. So let's say you run this action and the Chrome on this is just too big, doesn't fit well. You would just resize this up a little bit more and run the action again. And it will be relatively smaller because of how big the logo is or the text is. So let me go ahead go back to this logo over here so I can demonstrate. What you're seeing in this actions panel is the custom setting for the Chrome and the respective size for that custom setting. So this one's 35 pixels. And then all the ones under that up until the next custom one are just presets for that size of the Chrome effect. So we have more than a few here. We've got a blue, blue combination, sky and violet, desert chrome, blue and red. So it's your pick really. These are the seven presets that I found look the best but of course you're always welcome to use the custom action if you want more modular effects on your chrome so let's just go ahead and run one of these and check out what it does i'll go with desert chrome so press play and boom there you have it chrome tone nice and gorgeous you may have noticed also that once the effect is complete it kind of brings in this black background and hides pretty much everything under it because there's a solid black background behind this chrome. So if you want to bring back your transparency channel that you had originally, you can go to this layer mask and just click it once and that will enable the layer mask. And now you have your transparency channel back 
But you may also notice that once you turn on this layer mask, the glow kind of disappears and you're just left with the bare text and the bare chrome effect. So to fix that, we can go back and disable the layer mask and just set this layer to screen. And then that'll make sure it hides the black values in that layer. And then you're free to move this around and you know build your composition wherever under it. So, so one more thing I want to mention is that the glow effect on this chrome is pretty modular. You can't really see it well on this preset, which is desert chrome, but I went ahead and ran the blue slash red action. And you can see the glow is much more prominent on this one. Let's say I want to edit some of this glow. We're going to go over here to the layers panel and just double click the layer thumbnail of this layer. And that will open up the small object. And once you're in here, we can open this and see that there's two components to this glow. There's the shine, which is the white kind of shimmering effect. And there's the optical glow, which controls that blue diffusion kind of glow you see around the, the chrome here. So let me actually show you this better by making a solid black background. So the optical glow, as you can see, controls that blue diffusion. And if I turn this off, you can see it even better. But yeah, so let's check out how we can mess with this glow. So we have the shine, obviously, which if we open it, there is about five little partitions here that you can turn on and off, which basically progressively controls the intensity of the glow. So turn that on and off as you see fit. Obviously having them all on will provide you with the most intense glow and all off you'll have no glow or no shine. And then we have this optical glow here, which works in a similar way, but now there is a gradient map on top of this and this controls the color. So for all the chrome effects, I've preset this blue gradient map just because I think it looks the best but I have included in the Chrome Zone product a number of custom gradients that you could use as this glow. So if we go into this gradient editor here, open up our Chrome Tone folder, we can go into the glows over here and we see we have a number of glows to choose from. So by default, it's this cyan glow, but you can opt for a bluer glow, red glow, yellow, and the list goes on. So you can try all these to fit your graphic as you see fit. But yeah, so I'm gonna stick with the blue glow. I'm gonna go back to our original file. And lastly, I just wanna demonstrate how you can use these custom chrome effects. So let me delete these layers and go back to our original logo. And I want the 35 pixel chrome custom effect applied to this. So we're gonna run this. And as you can see, the first prompt we get is for the gradient map, which controls the beveled part of the chrome. So by default, it's set to this blue. But you could click on this little bar right here and it'll open up your gradient editor. And as I just showed you, we have a whole folder of chrome tone gradients to use. So let's open up that folder and let's go to the bevel folder. And this will just have a good amount of gradients that you could choose from to customize your chrome to your liking. So let's say I like, I don't know, this violet blue kind of gradient right here. I'll just choose that. I'll press OK. Press OK again. Next up, we have the Gaussian Blur. So it looks like garbage right now, but what this controls is the amount of distortion basically that's on the horizon line of the globe. So the higher amount of blur, the lower distortion, and the lower amount of blur, the more distortion. So I'm gonna actually display this by turning it down. I'll press OK and you'll see at the end what that does. So press OK, and now we have the prompt for the inner color of the chrome. So let's go ahead and click this gradient, and we can choose again from our group of gradients here. Let's go to chrome tone and to our base. And now we have another good amount of gradients to choose from. So choose at your will. I made these so that they kind of all fit well with the action pack, but of course, you're welcome to just make it your own by going down here and then changing the colors to how you see fit. But for now, I'm just gonna use one of these presets. I like how this one looks, so I'll press okay. It's okay again. Cool, and now we have this color range panel, which allows us to basically control the intensity of the glow. So the main slider you wanna focus on here is the fuzziness. Bring that up, the glow gets more intense. Bring it down, the glow gets less intense. You can't see it immediately here, but just know that that's how it works. That if you bring it up, the glow will be more intense. I would recommend leaving it in the 10 to 30 range. So I'm gonna go and pick maybe 30 here. Actually a little bit lower. I'll press okay. 
cool. And as you can see, we have our fully custom chrome tone right here. We have this little <laughs> note at the end. And like I just displayed earlier, if you go ahead and go into this small object to control this glow here. And if you want to turn on that transparency channel, it's very easy. Just click that layer mask and boom that's pretty much it so you can find this product on the website tomorrowsupply.com you can get it in a bundle with some of my other products you can get it in the hot shot kit which is chromatone and power tone which i would recommend because it's a pretty good deal but yeah that's all i have to show you i really appreciate you for watching this video and i thank you for your support if you bought this product and yeah i'll see you next time peace out